So now one of the reasons why I bought a uh, two-channel oscilloscope that's easy to use is because a lot of circuits have at least two voltages that are doing uh, really interesting things together at the same time. Now we're looking at a 555 timer wired in a stable mode. So now for channel one, which is the yellow line, I had the clip clipped to this jumper here in the board. So it's just a uh, metal jumper sticking out to uh, make a connection where the output of the 555 timer is. So yellow line is the 555 timer output. Then we have uh, we have the alligator clip up here. That's the uh, ground that comes off the probe. And I got a clip to that jumper going to ground, the negative supply. And then the other probe, this is channel two. We have the uh, wire to the capacitor. It's moving over there, the uh, positive side. We uh, clip to that and it's ground coming over here to a jumper going to a ground because our uh, voltages we'll see on the display are in relationship to zero volt ground. And now we'll come back to the scope. So it turned off because uh, five minutes passed. That's an energy saving feature. It also goes dim after uh, two minutes based on what I said. So I could turn both those off, but we are operating on battery. So I don't want to drain the battery too fast. And so in any case, you can see the two waveforms there. So they're uh, interacting together. Now, as I said before, the output is the uh, yellow line and then uh, the capacitor charging and discharging is the green line. So you can see their relationships uh, together there. When the capacitor discharges to one third supply voltage, the output goes high. And then when it uh, charges up to two thirds supply voltage, the output goes low. It keeps alternating back and forth like that. So now the power supply voltage is uh, six volts. So each uh, square moving up for both of these lines is one volt. You can actually change how much it is for each line. But in any case, we got to one, two, three, four, and then five, six. That's the supply voltage. We are losing quite a bit of voltage when the output is high because it is providing current to a load. Even without providing current to a load, the output goes through transistors, so it won't get to uh, six volts. But uh, we have zero volts for uh, both yellow and green at the bottom. You can see it does drop down to zero volts uh, pretty well. And as I said before, the capacitor will discharge to one third supply voltage, so that's two out of six, and then it charges to uh, two thirds of the supply voltage. And you can see it does uh, fairly well right there. Uh, one, two, three, four out of six. So you can see the relationship there. When the capacitor charges to two thirds, then the output drops low. And then when it uh, discharges to one third, then the output goes high and uh, goes uh, back and forth, pretty straightforward. You learn about that when you learn about uh, 555 timer circuits. So now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you those output voltages again, but I'm gonna yank the LEDs. So LEDs are gone. And uh, for some reason we got uh, a spike right there. It's going dim again because of a power saving mode. But there you can see that's the voltage we had with the LED. Now we uh, are only losing about a volt right there uh, to the output instead of almost two volts. So uh, if you can't take that uh, voltage drop, that extra voltage drop, you would just uh, send this to an amplifier and then use that to control an LED if need be. And to end the video, I put the LEDs back right there. So we got uh, that uh, voltage loss. But otherwise, the waveform is the same. We just don't have as much uh, available voltage at the output to go out as we do when there's no load. Uh, that's for high. It does go to ground uh, pretty good, even with a significant load. But in uh, any case, uh, that was it for the demonstration of the video. I bought this uh, uh, handheld oscilloscope with two channels for this reason. I made a lot of videos where I had uh, two voltages, uh, sometimes more, where they're interacting with each other. And so it would have been nice to show them on the display. And uh, so that's the main reason why I bought this oscilloscope. I'm gonna go through a bunch of those videos probably and show them on the display. So we're keeping them slow moving because you can see the LEDs alternating as the voltages alternate on the screen. That's why I put it in roll mode here, because when it's not in roll mode, it kind of snaps a, a picture of the waveforms over time. So with uh, roll mode, you can see it uh, sliding across. And then I slowed it down about one second per division so that you can see it slowly sliding in real time. And also I adjusted the voltages uh, so that we got one volt per square, because I had about a 10th of a volt uh, before, I think, when, when you just 
first turn it on and don't change any settings. Now it's also DC coupled. Again, covered all of this in uh, recent videos. So DC couple, uh, we got a little green arrow, yellow uh, arrow there. That's where zero volts is. And uh, then you get a voltage difference. If you have a negative voltage, you have to put your ground uh, up higher and it will show a voltage uh, uh, below when it's a negative voltage. But in any case, we have a fixed uh, zero volt point and that's where the alligator clips are clipped. And uh, they both have to be clipped to the same ground, I'm uh, pretty sure, with this particular scope. Uh, but in any case, you got a voltage in relationship to that ground because it's DC coupled. Whereas if it's AC coupled, it's going to automatically try to put the middle voltage wherever you have the arrows there. It's going to try to uh, put it in the middle ground area so you can see the voltage going up and down uh, above and below that middle area. We don't want that for these circuits. We want ground. So, in any case, uh, thanks for watching the video. This long, this end part was pretty boring. So I figured I probably lost a lot of extra people during it. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.